What's going on everybody? It's Saul Sunforge here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start Quest of Glory 5 today. Probably should have started a few days ago, but I was busy making maps and things like that. Um, this is an older game. I tried to do things to make it so it was a larger view for you guys. Um, when I make it larger for me, then OBS has... It, it, it just... There's, a lot of, there's been a lot of problems. So, uh, compromise, and this is the best I could do. So... Hopefully that works out for you. If not, then just feel free to watch one of the other videos. So, dear boy, the reason Fenris and I brought you here is this. You are a hero. And so, in the grand tradition of all heroes, you need to go where you are most needed. That happens to be Silmaria at this moment. The former king was assassinated a short while back. We have no idea why this was done or even who did it. Thus, you were summoned. Silmaria needs a new king, and thus the right of rulership is about to begin. This right will determine the next ruler for the kingdom. We would like you to enter the right of rulership. It is the most likely way to find the villain behind the nefarious deeds going on in Silmaria. If you choose to accept this mission, you will need to go to the Hall of Kings to speak with Logos, the centaur who is in charge of Silmaria right now. You will enjoy Silmaria. I am certain you will meet some old friends and make new ones. This is an interesting city, and these are interesting times. I've arranged for you to stay at the most amusing inn in Silmaria. Would you like to go there now, or are you ready to head into danger? Alright, we're gonna go to Samaria. Um, see the music levels and everything like that? Alright, there we go. So, this, this quest for glory was actually not even um, supposed to be made fans petitioned to have the final fifth and final chapter made um, and so this one was made in 1997 video games back then were trying to make a mad dash switching from 2d to 3d right and so quest for glory 5 is one of those games as, along with king's quest 8 and um, you'll see some of that in the monkey island games too all right so we're walking from from the portal it's the Colosseum right there. Uh, I think we'll have to eventually go in there. These controls are a bit wonky. If I remember right. It took a, a while to get used to them for sure. Oh wait, that's the Colosseum. Alright, here's the job board. Welcome to Samaria. Current events. Rights of rulership. The rights of rulership shall begin when five or more contestants have entered. The fishing villages of Marit have been deserted by the fishermen. Fishermen, oh, fishing boats have been attacked by Hesperian mercenaries. The fishermen feared their villages would be attacked next. Honeybees have also been deserting their hives. This is considered by many to be a very bad omen. All right. If you have courage, moral strength, and leadership skills, you have what, you have what Samaria needs in a king. Enter the rights of rulership for a thousand drachmas and compete to prove your worth as the next leader of Samaria. The kingdom of Samaria is still shocked and in mourning for the assassination of our beloved King Justinian. May he rest peacefully in the Elysian fields of Hades. Alright. So you can see there's guards here. They're on patrol and things. Townspeople. There's a cata. Uh, first things first is I think we should find the inn. I forget. I think it's down here somewhere. I haven't played this since 1997, so you gotta bear with me. Is this, the, is this it? Yes. Hello, sailor. I'm Anagramma. 
Gnome Anne, and this is my Land Inn. <laughs> California, or whatever it is they say around here. Want to get to know me a little better? I'd sure like to get to know you. I came all the Whoa. way from Zurich to make this little bed and breakfast in winterless wonderland. And what happens? No tourists. That's the way my life goes. <laughs> I don't know much about Silmaria because I've only been here a short time. I'm always in and never out. <laughs> oh, so you're the guy the Chatting Rat made arrangements for. Cheese to meet you. Your room's paid up through the month. Nice. All right, now this is the Adventurer's Guild, I think. Yeah. You take the pen lying upon the table, dip it into the octopus ink, and sign your name and quest into the book. Gotta work out in this game too. Even as a seasoned hero, you gotta you gotta get that work in. Good see hero man. Good hero man here. Toro like hero man. Good see, hero man. Like Silmaria, feel like home. Like guild, important job. Miss Elsa, want Elsa be here more. Glad see you. Good place talk adventure. Good place make body strong. Good place learn things. Good place. <laughs> Toro come here. Guild guy ask Toro if adventurer. Toro say yes. Guild guy say Toro, guild master. Guild guy go, Toro stay. T come here with Elsa. No like man Elsa with. Stay here in Silmaria. Hmm. All right, now we're on the beach front. So let's see what's out here. There's a hotel here. That's where most of the activity is going to be down here. The card would remind you of the door you saw in Shapir. The lock is a simple keyhole. There's no discernible trap. Pass out or gone to bed. 4.50 p.m. <laughs> All right. You here to enter the right of rulership? Most of the newcomers are here for it right now. Fools, it's going to take a real warrior to become king of Samaria. Yeah, welcome to sunny Samaria. What do you want? I'm Folus, weaponsmith and weapon seller. You need a good weapon, you go see me. You got a spare weapon you want to get rid of? I may decide to buy it. If it's about weapons, I'm the person you want to deal with. There's a strong warrior in town who calls himself Magnum Opus. He knows how to use real weapons. There's also a big, ugly guy that hangs around with the scientists. I don't see that he's got any weapons, but I hate to mess with the size of those fists. Then there's a woman. I can't believe a woman thinks she can become king here. Kings are men, not dames. She'll learn her lesson soon enough. If you play in the big leagues, you've got to be tough. All right, well, that was some useful information about the contestants. A right pleasure it is to be meeting you, mate. Orestes is his name. I be Orestes, a retired seaman, as it were. This be a fine place to be, stranger. You'll like it here. Rumors is it you want to be known. Well, matey, dead men tell no tales, nor do I. Be seeing you around, I be sure. Mm. 
who else do we have to speak to in here? Up here, I think. It is good to see you again. I was afraid I would not see you or anything else again. Fortunately, I got lucky. I am doing rather well for myself here in Silmaria. There are many things which I know that others want to know as well. Silmaria has her little secrets, and I make a point of finding them. This island is not the pretty little resort it seems to be. There are many dangers for the unwary here. You wish to know rumors? I make a living from selling rumors. However, since we are such old friends, I will be happy to share a little of my knowledge with you. There is talk that there will soon be an invasion of this island. Already, many people have left. I will be happy to provide letters of transit should you care to leave here too. Farewell, my friend. If you have any need of my services in the future, you can usually find me here at the inn. Greetings. I am Signor Ferrari, and this is my associate Ugarte. I believe we have had the pleasure of meeting you some time ago in distant Rasir. You've made here. quite a name for yourself, haven't you? It'll be interesting to see what you can do for Silmaria. Rumor has it that you could be her next king. I am the owner of this dead parrot inn. I am a man of vast influence, and I'm certain we should get to know each other better. It is always a pleasure to meet old friends in new places, is it not? I was forced to leave Rasir not long after you did. When the Sultan of Shapir took the city over, he did not approve of the way I did business. The Dead Parrot Inn is an oasis in this dreary little kingdom. It is a place to relax, refresh yourself from your busy day. If you are skilled, you can earn some money at the Wheel of Fortune. If you are lucky, you can make some real money betting on the combat held each night at the arena. If you are very, very skilled, you can make even more money by fighting in the arena and backing your winnings with a few well-placed bets. All in all, you'll find plenty to amuse yourself here at the Dead Parrot. Silmaria reminds me of Rasir when Ardavis first took over. The warning signs are there that things will get worse here before they get better. How fortunate for Silmaria that you are here. He always presented himself as a little bit slimy to me. Ugarte has his uses. I am a businessman, and I've always had my sources for information. If you need to know something, I'm certain I can find out what you want to know. For a modest fee, of course. Alright, let's try to get to the arena. Now that we sightseed town just a bit, talk to a few people. Now. Greetings, Prince of Shapir. I am Logos, counselor to rulers and speaker of Silmaria. Welcome to the Kingdom of Silmaria. I have heard much of you from your friends Erasmus and Rakish. Greetings, my friend. It is good to know that you are here. This land needs a hero of your abilities. I trust you understand why you were summoned here. The rites of rulership need one more entrant before it can begin. All of the competitors are worthy individuals. However, I suspect that these rites will be more dangerous than they are intended. We believe that the one or ones who assassinated the King of Silmaria will attempt to make certain the contestant they support will win. You must understand that your life will be in grave danger from the moment you enter the right of rulership. We will be doing everything we can to stop the assassin, but you need to be wary. Hero of the lands of Shapir, Tana, and Mordavia, will you enter the rites of rulership? It is an honor to meet you. I am the Speaker of Silmaria. I am the voice of the King and of the people. 
I will make certain that only the most worthy shall attain the rulership of this kingdom. <coughs> that is my duty and my honor. Rakesh and I have been friends for many years. When the king was assassinated, I contacted him through Erasmus for his wise counsel. Both Rakesh and Erasmus mentioned you and spoke of your worthiness. The Rites of Rulership is a series of quests that will aid Selmaria. Five individuals will compete to complete these quests. The one who accomplishes the most will be judged worthy to become king. To enter these rites, you must first contribute 1,000 drachmas to the Rulership Fund. This can be done at the Bank of Selmaria. Your father. The Sultan of Shapir was informed of this by myself and my wife, and has contributed 300 drachmas toward your entrance in the rites. Erasmus and I have each deposited another 100 oh, nice. drachmas. Nice. During the rites of rulership, all quests will be announced one at a time. Some rites can be fulfilled by only one person. Other rites cannot end until all contenders accomplish their assignment. A more detailed explanation of the rites will be given when the rites of rulership begin. We await your entry into the contest. The Bank of Silmaria is located in Town Square. The bank manager will be expecting you and explain the right fund. The Sultan Harun al-Rashid has sent a letter of recommendation about you. He says you would make a most splendid king, to use his words. He also sends you his blessing, and trusts you will choose the future you wish to fulfill. The assassin used a poison dagger to kill our king. The poison is very deadly, and unknown to our healers. Unless an antidote is administered immediately, the victim is dead within a minute. Even with an antidote, unless the victim has a very hearty constitution, he will remain unconscious for weeks. We are trying to learn the exact nature of the poison in order to cure this. The assassin of the king is a man skilled in stealth and the use of a poison dagger. A merchant was also presumed to be killed by the assassin, for his body was found by the docks and he died from the same poison. Hmm. Our Kingdom of Silmaria consists of the Isle of Marit and the outlying islands in the center of the Med Sea. The city of Silmaria was built upon the prime port of this island and is a thriving center of trade for the world. We will be pleased and proud to have such a worthy hero contesting to become our leader. I shall see you again when the rites of rulership begin. May Taiki, goddess of good fortune, smile upon you. Alright, there we go. There's Erasmus, our old friend from Quest of Glory 2 and 3. Time to uh, go to sleep, I think. I forget how I learned about the Thieves Guild, but... Okay, there you go. Examine the hidden door. Close inspection of this wall shows you the outline of a hidden door and a small area for a lock. Beside the lock, you see the mechanism for a trap. This could be tricky. You start or disarm. Memorize the position of the grief figure on the wheel. When you're ready, click the center button. Oh shit, I forgot about this game. Yeah. I used to have to write these down.
<laughs> we'll, we'll have to take some time to do that. I don't know how as a kid I was able to... I, I think I wrote, wrote down a few of them, maybe. I don't remember exactly how I did that. It's hard. You gotta do it so many times. Alright, it's the morning of day two. Alright, so we gotta head to the bank now. To talk to, um, I think his name is Samson. Greetings, and welcome to the First Bank of Silmaria. This is the safest place to keep your savings secure from pickpockets and thieves. Would you like to leave your money with me? Oh, it's you. I was told you were coming. Your friend set up a savings account in your name. Hefty sum of 500 drachmas. You've got some generous friends, let me tell you. <laughs> Hi there. Have you invested in your future? This is... I'm Sam. Sam the Banker Man. I own and run this bank. Would you like to make a deposit? The First Bank of Silmaria will keep your money safe and secure. Drachmas can get heavy when you carry too much of it. And you make yourself a target for every cut purse around. The right of rulership fund is set up for the competition to become king of Silmaria. You need to contribute 1,000 drachmas in order to enter the right of rulership. Usually people have friends and relatives help raise that much cash. We have one fund which gets contributions from all the guards in Silmaria. It takes a lot of money to enter the right of rulership, but it is a great honor to compete to become king. Sure is. Your savings will be kept in the most secure safe in all of Selmaria. The safe is equipped with the latest in modern locks and has a complex strap guaranteed to fry the robber foolish enough to try it. Thanks to your good friends, you've already got 500 drachmas in your account. That lion guy said that he and Erasmus the wizard were starting the savings account for you. They wanted you to enter the right of rulership. Man, you have strange taste in friends, but they sure make good ones. I thought you looked familiar. Yeah, we met in Spielberg, where I was working the alley as a professional panhandler. It wasn't long after you left Spielberg that the pass cleared and the tourists flocked back to town. I made a small fortune and said bye-bye to those cold climbs. Came to Silmaria and needed some place to stash my cash. So I started my own bank. Seemed appropriate after all. I'm still asking others for their money. <laughs> Our banking hours are dawn to dusk daily. When you save here, you know your money is safe. All right, here's the apothecary. Oh, Julian, our luck! It's that prince person who told me about you. I'll food. never forget him. I can't tell you how happy I am that you told me about Julian, our back in Tarna. Uh, whatever your name is. <laughs> Welcome to our apothecary. The tree from I believe we two. have met before, although I was in quite another form <clears throat> at the time. Oh, that's right. Julian, was a tree when you last saw her, wasn't she? Well, it's good to see you again. It is a great pleasure to see you. You have been most kind to me. It is good to be human again. In the form of a tree, you can learn great wisdom, but it is the knowledge born of solitude. I now enjoy greatly the company of others. I am mastering the arts of healing both the body and the soul. Salim is a man of great kindness and heart. I am deeply happy with him. With Salim's knowledge of potions and pills, and my healing abilities, we have much business here. This land is so much more alive than the deserts I grew up in. It is so green and lush that it soothes the soul. You said it, Julinar. Plants make people happy. If you are ever injured, I will be honored to heal you. Cool, cool. Hi, it's so good to see you again. I really have to thank you for telling me about Julinar. 
She's everything I dreamed she would be. I left Tarna and went all the way to Shapir by boat. I followed your directions, and there I found Julinar, all alone in the desert, just like you told me. I guess even trees get lonely. So I camped out there and talked to her, gave her some hugs and some really good plant food I brewed. Her leaves really perked up with my kind words. Then I awoke one night and the tree was gone. There sat the girl of my dreams in her place. I was totally thrilled, even if I did kind of miss the tree. Aww. We've been together ever since. Cool. We're doing a good business here. The plants just love this place and grow really well. We like making people happy too. This is such a wonderfully cosmic place to be. I'm really glad we came here. Come back soon. You need to mellow out a little more. Put some flowers in your hair, <laughs> that sort of thing. Right. Uh, okay. Um, well, there, there we go. There's session one. We got to meet some of the people in Samaria. And uh, next session, you know, we'll go ahead and probably get into some more action, I imagine. Uh, so I gotta get this edited, get ready for work, and uh, upload it. While it's uploading, I'll be at work. So I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. And we'll be back more soon with more Quest for Glory 5. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. Let your friends know we could always use more people here at Dungeons & Taverns. Thanks. Have a great day.